the Musical.ly era. I, I think Musical.ly, Musical.ly was oh actually the first one. Fire when the strong pits you. That's it, friend. Hey. It's your first time Ah, the internet. Our lives ever since the inception of the internet have changed to degrees that haven't been seen in the billions of years on Earth. It's crazy to me how comedy on the internet from 15 years ago- Why is he in two frames? Why is he in two pixels? Hold on. ...ago went from videos like this- Ow, Charlie! You bit me! What? Yo, what is up? What is up with the Wi-Fi's? <laughs> <laughs> to videos like this now. Yo, like what the fuck even happened Jadio between so these years? Sick. Which is what gave me the idea to look back at these internet errors because people don't realize how fast we move on in the internet. Let's first Dad. start off with one of the most universally oh hated gosh. errors on the internet. Hold on guys, hold on guys, hold on guys, hold on guys. I saw something on Twitter. Look at this. How we think memes from seven years ago look like. All these like the troll face, the baby, freaking, freaking whatever neon cat neon cat whatever that is bro oh my gosh how memes from seven years ago actually look like this is the the, the freaking do you know the way the drake memes the spongebob memes the idubs memes harambe we are number one that was seven years ago you're lying there's no way there's that was already seven years ago how Bro, the times was so much better back then. Era and time, which pretty much consisted of this. People that were annoying as shit were being annoying as yep. shit mm -hmm. and becoming famous for being annoying as shit. Oh, that's something Little Tay. Come on, I want Little to hear the classic entourage. We can pretty much just end this segment right here. On the real, the Instagram cloud era was a time between 2016 to 2019, where a group of random individuals would captivate the people of the world by doing shocking things in front of a camera, then posting it on Instagram where what people would watch and share how stupid it was. And did you hear how I said? laughing at how stupid it was people weren't laughing with them they yeah. were laughing at them like exactly that's why it was funny like bro i didn't have a problem with it because it was funny to watch it was, fun. it was entertaining kind of made themselves the punching bag of the internet it yep. was also kind of like jackass except way worse and <laughs> not funny our main contenders in this category include people like Lil Tay, Lil Bad Tay. baby 30 on my wrist you broke ass niggas <laughs> Duo Vicky, Boonk, Supreme Patty, Lil Pump, and others. And I like to say others because I don't even remember half the names of these motherfuckers. Bro, I used to do, I used to do, I, I used to make thumbnails for Woe Vicky. I literally have her number. I literally have Woe Vicky's number. <laughs> I'm so serious, bro. V Vicky, no Woe. Vicky, no Woe. Hold on. Contact. Hold on. Okay. Maybe I don't have a number. But I have DMs. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I literally have DMs, bro. I literally have DMs. Ah, uh, hold on. Stop the cap. I'm literally not capping. Who you think I who you think I'd be capping, bro? Well, Vicky, yeah, that's just I told you, I literally made her thumb, thumbnails. Bro. I literally made her thumbnails, bro. <laughs> bro I'm so serious. Cra cra crazy, crazy how life works and stuff. To a Dunkin' Donuts store and just yanked the rack of donuts, which got him on the news. Or when he went into a store and recorded himself stealing a diamond watch. And last, when he recorded himself stealing a whole ass dog. What? Yeah. what? She's so cute. Mm. She cute as. How much you want for it? Two? Two thousand. What type of dog is it? Two thousand? Oh shit, fuck this shit. Hey, yo! 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 Were these it's not, not talked fit? about enough how Boonk ruined a generation of kids by making them think stealing is a way to get famous and posting it on social media. That's crazy. Well, Vicky got famous for pretending to be black. Yeah, the stuff Will Vicky was doing in this era would definitely not slide in the 2020s. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, Little Tay, Lil Vicky, they were over here like, nigga, 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 you broke that nigga. 30 my wrist, 30 my wrist. Nowadays, that, that wouldn't slide, but like, it slid, it slid a couple years ago. Out here fighting like a Spartan warrior to prove she was black. When the evidence was clearer than the sky, bitch didn't have a drop of melanin within her parents. Her presence was always weird to me in this era because you could tell she was trying to imitate the stereotypical black girl. Before y'all say I'm exaggerating either, just look at some of these clips right here. You can't say I'm exaggerating. Next you gotta get the walk. I'm telling all y'all white folks right now, y'all need to control y'all badass kids. Cause maybe Jenny can get away with cussing y'all niggas out. But I'm telling you, if Shanique would try that shit with me, I'm gonna beat that whole ass. I don't give a fuck if you is my blood. <sighs> I hope I prove my point here. She also dropped this classic diss track on Rice Scum, which this racist behind. Mark, can I, bro, can, see, that's a, can I even say it? Is, is that is that am I racist? If I if I if I just quote the song, I won't be playing. Number one because it's a copyright, obviously, and number two because just watch it and you'll see why I can't put it on this video. And last is the.
Twitch, this is for educational purposes. I don't condone racism. Things of that nature. It's like, bro, I I shouldn't have to say that. You know? I shouldn't have to freaking say that. Like, come on, bro. Wow, bitch. You got wrong when you see me too, bitch. You need a sex change because you ain't like a pussy. I done got his own six. I'm in your city. What's the Nigga, you a pussy. He ain't that bitch. Bitch. Oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> i'm not racist if you guys couldn't tell like i'm just not racist if you thought i was racist then i you're just slow you need to be checked on by doctors or something because your mind is like really like your mind just doesn't compute well the king of this no brain cell Bro, was era dancing to racism i was jigging oh pump i think Lil pump was a true pioneer in all of the dog shootery that happened at the time he really had all the new rappers coming into the industry questioning if they had to get face tats and colored dreads to make it. And to his credit, it happened for a while. There's a group of discarded SoundCloud rappers out there with permanent face tats. I know they regret now. Hope Hold Roseanne's up. doing good. His Instagram. I'm just realizing that. Yo, use up. I remember this. He peed on his money. Yo, I'm just realizing that. Like people that never made it, like they did all that stuff, facial wise, hair wise, and like you're just stuck with that. I mean, you could do. You could get um laser removal but that's gonna hurt even more posts were also annoying he's the one that inspired these kids to be obsessed with flexing thinking their worth is nothing without a supreme t-shirt or a gucci hoodie or diamond chains he also had all the little kids saying gucci gang for that year which was beyond painful i'm gang, so gang, glad gang, we are done gang, with that. Song, boom, man. My bad, I'll do cocaine. I still can't believe the song has 1.1 billion views. Music must have been a disparaging drought for something new. So overall, this is probably the one era on this list where I see no good came from it at all. There's so much more in these people, but this is about enough we I can endure talking about it. And I highly recommend checking out Patrick CC's video that fully goes in depth mm. on it. The last person I've ever seen survive this is Drewski, but even then, I don't know if that really counts. He kind of came into that era when it was ending, and he's just a naturally funny guy. I can't really say the rest for... Whatever the f Oh gosh. I don't even know that big dude. I not I haven't seen that dude, the dude with the mouth. I haven't seen him for a minute. There was another dude. Fat boy SSZ. That yeah, bro. I don't even think he's fat anymore. Next last, we got last thing I saw about him, he was like he was like piping down his girl like on a video. Like he's only fan. I don't know. Another era that is also linked to ruining a generation of kids. What AKA the 2016 YouTube edgy era. That's my I've era. talked about this That's era me. many, many times this on this channel, and there's no way I couldn't include it. But it's weird to me because I have a love and hate relationship with this era. The love side is that a lot of people, including me, grew up on this era and have some fun memories of this time. Facts. I've been personally inspired Facts. by creators from that time to this, this day. Era. Shit, even Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast, was making edgy content at the time not only do black people not have rights in roblox but Fox get so realistic and although your favorite creators now may look like super amazing family friendly ethical people who could never even hurt a fly i believe that deep down inside them a little of that era still lingering that they can't show or they'll get canceled and packed off platforms i know for a fact there's so many jokes i want to make there's so many jokes i want to make now we're definitely watching back then. Then again, I don't even blame them because there's a reason I put it on this list. You had the most wildest, insane, out of- Why is this the load? Come on. Bully random kids and have millions of people bully that kid together. Filthy Frank was dropping videos on how he wanted to smash Nickelodeon girls. Oh, I was making kids think it's normal to call people every type of slur in the book and- in the name of comedy, YouTube was truly in its finale yep. for how far yep. edginess could yeah. be pushed before they had to make a change. Very, very, I wasn't very joking edgy. when I say this ruined a generation of kids because I was a part of it. I, I swear, I thought it was normal for people to call me certain names when it definitely was not because of this era. And of course, my immature dumbass took some of the lingo straight out of these videos and ripped it out to people in game voice chats. This is my apology to those who had to witness. It honestly dawns on me now how normalized it was when you had the biggest creator on the platform just straight up drop the unedited full no context n-word bomb on a public live stream i still don't know what was going through this man's head but my only thought is the time period it was just so casual for anyone to say that word and many others with zero consequences on youtube as a matter of fact it was encouraged by their fans to say the words which made it even worse i miss them back when they weren't scared and said what was on their mind what like when i dubs was dropping the full n-word n-word f the hero i dubs will drop the n-word f f-bomb n-word f-word combination 
bomb and saying that grape is good as a joke? The PewDiePie bridge incident? Any of Filthy French old songs? That stuff slides right on when you're younger, but they're full grown ass men now. You expect them to be making these type of jokes now? Nah, they're at the age where they need to start having kids before it's too late. Now, the oh, next God. era I'm gonna talk about was one that was actually bullied by the 2016 YouTube era. The Musical.ly era. I, I think Musical.ly Musical was oh actually the first platform to- No, bro. Hold on. Bro. Bro. Musical.ly was the- Musical.ly, bro, bro, bro. The Musical.ly compil- Bro, 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 bro. The Musical.ly compilations. The Musical.ly music. Oh my gosh, bro. These are great times. These are great times. I, I don't- I don't like- <laughs> Musically, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to get. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come here, come here. Y'all, y'all need to come up, up close and personal for this one. I need to get my bag. I need to get my music bag. Work, cringe. Well, in this, I'm, I'm in my bag right now. I'm in my bag right now. Yeah, big W, big W. Oh, uh, if I can get this back. Hold on, guys. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to fix it. I can't fix it. What? have kids become truly famous we haven't to kids like that unless their parents were already famous or they were a famous actor the main contenders in this category were jacob satorius just baby say. ariel so i Vern, malu trevejo malu. daniel Cohn. bro malu was on time it before malu was on time it you know what i mean like i always had an eye out for her. always you know like i was always like you know etc you know? and their rise to fame was like no other shedding their blood sweat and tears with countless hours spent crafting their work to perfection now i'm just with you can you imagine <laughs> musically was the time where people would record themselves lip syncing to songs and dancing i'm like tick we still do that though talk though there was no qu still no quality like you just it's still the same things happening on tiktok still literally the same record themselves happening. lip syncing to songs and dancing i'm like tiktok though there was no coordination in 99 Oh my god. Content to ever hit social media platforms. I think a lot of people forget that Musical.ly was a reason why cringe comps even became a popular thing. There was hundreds of these cringe comps posted daily on the newest things that people could laugh at for Musical.ly. Yo, do you guys want to watch a cr cringe cop? Not now, I'm just saying like... Should we put that in like in the in like the rotation of stuff to watch? Let me know. A lot of it was kids, which I do kind of feel bad about now. It's five years later after Musical.ly has ended, and I just know that that digital footprint hidden hard for some of them kids. I'm making the call right now. We're gonna have our president get elected in 30 years who posted cringe Musical.ly's when he was 12. Oh, That'll gosh. be the true point of America's break. I can't imagine any country could take a president serious when he was recording himself lip syncing to Chris Brown at 12. The person the internet hated to the max from this era was. Jacob Satorius. To this you day, there are multiple cringe comps on Jacob Satorius still up. And every single commentary YouTuber was going at this man's throat for his videos. Which look okay. I didn't really <laughs> like Jacob Satorius either, but I damn near felt bad for the guy. I mean, bro was 13 years old and getting blasted on commentary videos every day. I have videos from when I was 13 on this channel and just know y'all will never better. see them in the light of day. A lot of these Musical.ly stars also failed to transfer to TikTok, which is critical for staying alive in this attention internet world it's almost kind of sad to look at it like jacob satori is having 11.5 million followers on instagram and getting 10,000 likes per post just shows it and we can now get your cloud up buddy get your cloud up now that's, conf that's crazy firm the era of these pseudo stars is officially dead but another era that links directly to this one took over the filth that musically stars left behind the tick tock dance era you're, you're gonna put Maneer. huh I really don't care. To this day, I still don't know the it demographic that was eating up this content, but it was working. We can use the Hollywood Fixes channel as proof. I like to compare this channel to TMZ, except more rundown, more elusive, more invasive, and I hate the guy's voice. Nice. He was uploading videos daily of these TikTokers, nearly stalking them everywhere they oh go. Gosh, Each of them have bag. millions of views as well, bag, which shows people. there was some audience for it. And that's why I think Netflix got the idea to make the Hype House show. What were they thinking? I've never seen a Netflix I, show more shit on by I the masses than this one. I fully blame Netflix too because you really thought a group of teens who got famous for doing five second dances and lip syncing would be able to act. And you know this show was bad when it pretty much dried up now. And the last time I've even heard of one of these people was when Charlie D'Amelio got passed by Kabi Lame to become the most followed TikToker. Next is a shorter era, but I just want to cover it a little bit. The World Star era. World Star. This is, this is before you're you're out of order, buddy. Are also 
known as World Star Hip Hop, is a social media company who became big. This is not, this is not even a bad era. These are not bad eras. Embrace the eras, bro. These are great eras. Like these, these are childhood eras. Like this, this, we, we grew up on these eras. I can't, I was entertained this whole time. You know what I mean? World Star was good. World Star was great back when the fight compilations were out. Why, wait, why did he pass Vine, Vine era? Vine era was amazing. What's happening? Bro, he's, he's skipping a lot of stuff. Hey, Tommy, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. It was it really that bad. The, the the fight the fight videos were, were they really that bad the the the, the twerk compilations were they really that bad mm. Mm. big for posting memes posting music on their channel and fight videos lots and lots of fight videos there was a time where any time any minuscule fight happened on some random butt f nowhere street corner someone was pulling out their phone yelling <gasps> World Star! And everyone from every conceivable nation would run down to see if a fight was oh actually God, happening. Oh That's God. how much it was linked to fighting. It was kind of like the more tame version of Live Week. I just mainly didn't like this era because it started a stereotype of black people fighting all the time. It was like they were allergic posting any other skin color getting into an altercation. The setting was always the most hood, the most ghetto, was, the most was, run down was. area in the slums. It was. This gave racist ammunition and they still use it to this day. I'm not lying. Go ahead and look at any Twitter account that posts fights on the daily, look at a video of black people fighting, then look at a video of any other race fighting, and come back to tell me which comment section is worse. It'll be bursting what comments like. <laughs> and these are the people who get to have rights. Typical. What else do we expect from them? Huh. But black lives matter though, right? right? I am full fledged putting the blame on Worldstar for this effect. That's crazy. Next is an era that bring out the most garbage people that platform has ever seen. The vlogging era. Stop. Stop. You 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 weren't you weren't a Jake Pauler. You you were you 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 was not a low gangster. Hey yo, low gang, what's <laughs> happening? Come on, bro. Fussy tube? What was Fussy Tube's intro? What was his intro? To the best family on YouTube. Rock, bro. Come on, bro. What you know about these times, bro? Come on, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. These are great errors. I can't complain. Worst, worst errors of the internet? I ain't gonna lie. The best errors. I had an amazing time. Yo, Manir, what what did you do to my Wi-Fi? What did you do to my Wi-Fi, buddy? Videos daily of them doing things. Hmm, I wonder what type of disaster this could lead to. Recording every action done throughout the day and posting it online? Now, at the start, it wasn't too bad in my opinion. You had gems like Casey Neistat mm -hmm. or Roman Atwood yeah, vlogs, yeah. which I don't think get enough credit. But enter the Paul brothers. Enter okay, the yeah. Clout House. And they Stop. love this. No, bro, bro, bro. Rice Gums vlogs, FaZe, FaZe, FaZe Banks vlogs, Alyssa's vlogs. Summer Ray's vlogs, Wolfie, come on, bruh. This was amazing times. Bitch to the ground. I remember when Jake Paul was actively recording the Team 10 household and it was just disaster after disaster. They functioned together so bad that there's a video going over their worst moments with 24 million views. He was genuinely, genuinely just an asshole who showed it on camera and got famous and it was the same thing with logan the cloud house and a lot of these no it wasn't no it wasn't no it wasn't no it wasn't. logan was great logan logan had great vlogs rice coming rice coming them cloud house was fired amazing time um only thing logan did was like the 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 japan japan forest incident which was was just messed up looking back at it freaking crazy freaking crazy rice gum phase banks Perfection vlogs, amazing vlogs, amazing videos. Like this was a great time. Summer Ray, that that's that's honestly, bro. When, oh my God, I think I, I think I'm just, I think I'm biased because they introduced me to Summer Ray, and that's when I realized like I like white women. You know what I mean? So yeah. These vloggers. I don't know what type of ego they had in their minds, but it was pumping in their brains hard. We can't forget either that this era caused one of the most controversial YouTube scandals that hasn't been topped. Ain't no one ever day, make a comeback bro. like Logan Paul. At the time vlogging was blowing up also, it was becoming more and more easier to use your phone as a piece of equipment. So kids were trying to be like their favorite YouTube vlogger, Jake Paul, and recording videos to hopefully become famous one day. That's why I blame this era for kids wanting to be YouTubers when they grow up. Like, true. bro, I true, was thinking true. astronaut or doctor and you choose vlogging and i know that sounds hypocritical coming from me but at least when i was younger i wanted to be an astronaut and i failed so f you <laughs> next is an era that made many rich and a lot more poor nft slash okay. crypto now now we're getting into like eras that's like uh 
Oh, era. you know? There was a certain time not too long ago where crypto and NFTs were on the rise. First, it was crypto with every coin out of nowhere 10xing, giving the worst type of people out there money. Then it was NFTs that followed after, which gave another group of horrible people out there unlimited cash to spend. When this first started happening, every- Bro. Should I make an yo if if I if I make an NFT if I make an NFT y'all gonna y'all gonna like buy it and stuff yeah you gonna buy it you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna buy my my law coins yeah. Yeah, okay. Everyone right. was kind of shocked. It was normal people becoming multi-millionaires overnight. So it made a huge demand for things. And with the demand come- Bro, you're gonna piss me off, Manier. What are you doing to my Wi-Fi? Dogecoin, Yeecoin, Spank Chain, Neon Coin are just a few I found from one search. And I don't know what the f was happening, but it, it was working. People were actually betting their life savings on Dogecoin, praying that it would take them out of poverty. Taking Elon Musk's word as gospel on any time he mentioned it. Then celebrities and influencers would be taking any bet from these crypto places to pass out the garbage. Unlike now that we know they're a scam, people didn't back then when it was new, when people got their entire lives ruined. What truly confirmed the whole scam aspect to it from influencers was save the kids. FaZe is still in a downfall Ooh, from I it, forgot about I, that. Honestly, I forgot you know, about I have this. hope in FaZe stock. It was the same thing for NFTs, except I saw a lot more mainstream celebs trying to promote it. For some reason, a lot of celebrities love the board ape, which I can't help but to feel happy about. No matter how much richer they are than you or more famous than you, you, at least you didn't buy a board ape for five hundred thousand fucking dollars. Them bitches are worth a solid two tin cans oh gosh, and a butt. Oh God, oh I used God. to think celebrities were smart when I was younger, and this time period just proved to me how much I was lied to as a child. There were also hundreds of influencers and it's celebrities coming out with their what own the NFT heck? projects. Yeah, I've never seen one of these succeed for the people that bought them. So, but I feel like NFT. Bro, that's a, that's a thing, bro. I don't know, cause like. The crypto thing that was like doing really good until the stock market like well, everything is crashing now. Literally everything's like literally the dollar is about to be like worthless. So like every literally everything's crashing. But then the NFTs, it was like I heard good and bad things about it. Cause like when Tory Lanez dropped his he dropped the music video and he dropped it as an NFT. Literally everyone that bought it got like him and everyone that bought the music video got rich. I'm like, I don't understand I don't understand that how that works. But at the same time, they're like there's like these these NFTs with the the pit the monkeys and stuff. The monkeys and stuff and it's like i don't i don't know it's like it's like i hear good things and bad things i don't know i don't know how this works i really don't know how this works at all i don't know how it works at all but at the same time again everything's crashing money's about to be freaking worthless useless the freaking dollar bill's about to be gone it's about to be everything's about to be digital and like yeah ggs bro ggs bro no, I'm not done. were more obviously stupid to the public because you're just buying a picture that anyone can screenshot Even oh okay no that's what i was gonna i forgot to say but now since vr is coming back is, or is getting more prominent nfts is going to come back what well, is it still an nft because like say um so you say like in vr you want like a picture in vr right you can buy it you can buy it just like um any like like, like in a, say like fortnite v bucks and stuff but like for vr stuff that's still like an nft type thing because it's like virtual it's not real isn't that still gonna like be the same thing aren't people still gonna profit off that right because it's like vr is still getting more prominent and prominent Yo, someone needs to make like a Sims, Sims VR, Sims VR, bro, Sims VR, and then and then like you could actually join people's things, and then like you get you have to spend real money, bro. Video games have been doing this the same thing basically. What the frick? Even bro? the dumbest of the public questioned the validity of that, saying, "Yo, the, this, this is kind of dumb." But crypto coins, though, people definitely fell for it more because it seemed like an actual investment, and that's just kind of sad to think about. And this last year it was that's the thing; it was an actual investment. It just. Everything's crashing now. Everything's going down the drain now. What I'm gonna talk about is one we're actually still in right now. The Matrix era. <laughs> Bugai, 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 Bugai. Now, I know I've made a whole video on this and I've talked about this before. I know we're technically still in this era, but. <laughs> Law, would you rather watch a tree grow or a negro? Hmm. Interesting question. But I can already see this being certified as well for the future generations to come. Andrew Tate truly changed the landscape online for good. It's so weird because he's so ingrained into social media as of now that I don't even remember a time when people weren't talking about it. The time period I'm talking about though was when he was blowing up and his clips were absolutely everywhere. You can't even lie, there was a certain point where you couldn't ignore yeah, Andrew facts. Tate. Exactly. You had his long john silver schlong a dick riders in his comments always saying the same thing. If it was a clip of him on TikTok, it was a comment like comment tate w if it was someone the disagreeing tate with tate w. it was the comment what color is your bugatti though now that the dick riding like that has <laughs> stopped i'm at the point where i think these weren't I even he got cancer bro he like went to jail and then like got poisoned did y'all see that video 
You all see that video? All my, all my pronouns are Nick Gur. Say three times fast. <laughs> Bro! Yeah, wait. Oh, have, have, have you all seen that, Seen the picture of... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. Have you all seen the picture of... um? Mr. Tate, bro, we got like poison or something. His face was all swollen up. I TikTok crazy. when he was blowing up, you'll see comments like that. And then you had people like Sneeko pop up who were an exact representation of what happens when you take the tape off. I don't think anyone who was watching Sneeko would have guessed the route he would take for content in the next year. He's yeah, bro. Sneeko went. Sneeko went. And his girl. And his girl went. Bent over. Also Bent that over. pure example of why I call this the Matrix era. Any nanoscopic type of problem that happened was the Matrix's fault to him. It was only until Moist Critical actually had a decent conversation with him that I think he realized, huh, yeah, maybe maybe some of this shit just, just isn't the Matrix. Bro, what is up? If the Matrix is after me and taste is spin facts, you're just mad. Buddy, you work at Walgreens as a cash register. The Matrix is not out to get you. It also brings this new epidemic of alpha for males trying to copy Andrew Tate's strat. I fully think we should just f around and have a prohibition like they did in the 30s on podcasts for a while, but that's just me. Whenever that's I see these alpha male clips, it's so obvious to me that they're trying to fishing, shit, fishing, I don't think bro. regular human- That's a thing, bro. That, that was the whole- that, That's my thing. People were super, super upset with um Mr. Tate, but it's like, bro, I took it like, bro, this shit was, this shit was funny, bro. And like, you, you could tell like he was baiting, like he was, he said the the craziest things to get people's attention. Like he 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 had a plan, and and the plan was planning. Beings would be able to tell, but we're in 2023, and that's basically gone. So yeah. young men just go dick riding from alpha podcast to alpha podcast to alpha podcast, absorbing any type of talk against the Matrix and more to make the them feel planning. like Tate. The dark reality gonna hit them like a semi truck when they realize in 10 years none yeah. of the courses work. So overall. Yeah. These are the worst internet eras I've got, which I think either are okay. Worst, I'm gonna go. Uh, did did you, I never watched Fresh and Fit? I don't. I I didn't watch. I, I didn't watch any of these people. Like I watched Sneeko, but I I've been I watched Sneeko before. Like he did. He turned. I didn't watch any Andrew Tate podcast. I I only watched Andrew Tate clips, but like it was for the memes. I didn't. I didn't like. I, I didn't take anything serious, honestly. Okay, they are ho horrible human beings. <sighs> yeah, bro. Some of these people are freaking weird, bro. A lot of these people are weird. Okay, so. What what are you guys what are you guys' best eras? My best the best era, number one era has to be ooh okay top three eras for me vlog era tw tw 2016 edgy era ooh 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 Instagram Instagram is now is either Instagram musically or TikTok I'm gonna say vlog musically and edgy yeah yeah th those are my those are mine because I just feel like bro that, that was just like oh my gosh bro great times for me honestly now I'm just like I stay in my room and I don't I don't leave it. That's about it, you know. Same guys. Hello. There's 20 people here. I'm, I'm only seeing two comments. <laughs> are you guys? Are you guys there? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Is this thing on? Hello. Okay. So like vlogging, edgy. Okay. World star first. Okay. None. None is crazy. You must hate your life. There's no way you you don't think you don't like any of these eras. You had no fun at all. You're thinking. How are you thinking this long? Come on, bro. World star. World star was a great one. But if, if Vine was in here, Vine would probably be. Would Vine go over? Vine will go over music. Did I, did I pick musically? I think I picked music. I think Vine will go over music. Yeah, but vlogging, vlogging. Yeah, the freaking two YouTube ones, the 2016 and Edgy, 2016 Edgy era and the vlogging era were like that. That was that was me, bro. I was on those. What about the 2014? Okay, if we're talking about see that that that's not that if that was in the list, that would be my number one era because that that was me. That that was me. I was all on that slobbing all on Ca Captain Sparkles knobs. You feel me, like bro? Every freaking Minecraft parody he made, I was on that. On that for sure. On that for sure. Yep, bro. Aren't missed or won't be missed. I don't think future civilizations will recover on our remnants and want to study TikTok stars or poor ape NFTs. You guys can let me know if I missed any errors because there's so many errors online that they all cannot be tracked. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Nice, As always, nice. I love you guys consensually. And until next time, I'm out. Thank you so much, Tommy. Thank you so much. That was a great video. Great video. Great video, great video, great video. Bro, uh, it would be a shame if the internet were, were to actually have a good era. Bro, there was great eras, bro. The Minecraft era, comeback era, uh, I didn't, I didn't really get back in the Minecraft comeback era. Minecraft came back, I was mad, I was kind of upset when Minecraft freaking died, but when Minecraft came back because of PewDiePie, I, I was like, hey, it's kind of cool, it's pretty good. Yeah, it was a rough period for YouTube, Terminate, terrible YouTube. Um, was it, uh, bro? I don't think it was rough though. YouTube back in the day was a lot better than what it was, what it is now, hundred percent. Just, but even though it was like a whole lot, I don't know, bro.
Creeper. Oh, man. Let's watch something. We, we literally just watched a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, now it's time to get to the games, bro. 